and one of the best ways to really know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala especially after one has been able to rid themselves of some of their lower appetites is by reading the Qur'an and the Qur'an should be everyone's aspiration uh, the Qur'an should be the thing that you read so much it occupies your thoughts you reflect upon its verses because if the Prophet Sallallahu is the best of creation and obviously by in turn the best of humanity then all that comes from him all that he taught is the best the idea of one's worth, the idea of one's value to society is not measured in how much they own and it's not measured in how many children they have and it's not measured uh, in how popular they are. Rather, it's measured in how beneficial they can be to others. And so, if I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I love what He wants for me and He's put me in this situation, then I ha should have rida, I should be content with what He has put me in. doesn't mean I can't go and try to change that situation. But on a certain plane, on a certain aspect, I am pleased with what God has brought my way. And I know that He's only put me in that particular situation for me to learn something, or to consider something, or to bring me closer to Him. And our ulama, they say that looking at the face of a parent, a mother or a father, is a type of ibadah. It's a type of devotional act. You can grow closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala merely by looking at the face of your father, or looking at the face of your mother. Because there's no... There should be no contradiction between Islam and humanity, right? How can we be Muslims and at the same time we are not seen as humane people, we're not seen as benevolent people, we're not seen as people that others should benefit from and should be around. There's some type of contradiction. Can't be. <coughs> the true nature of the believer. Because the Prophet said, I am bewildered by the, the, the believer, all of his things are good, all the things that happen to him are good. Why? Because even if it doesn't seem right currently or in the physical aspect of things, he knows in the inner reality of things there's nothing wrong with it because it all came from God. His insani al kamila, right? His complete and perfect archetypal um, embodiment of humanity. That's what the Prophet Muhammad is. There is no more perfect human being. There will never be a human being better than him, ever.